Hi guys, welcome uh, to today's tutorial. Basically, we'll be looking at uh, the basic probability and basically a, um, a just a, an overview um, of uh, of probability. You've done this for quite some time now, hopefully. Um, so, first of all, what is probability about? Okay, probability. Well, probability is all about chance. Okay, the chance of something occurring or the chance of an event occurring. For example, we might say, what's the probability that I throw uh, a head okay, when I toss a normal coin? Okay, well, first of all, how many heads are there on the coin? So we call this the number of favorable outcomes. Okay, the favorable outcomes. Now, in this case, there is one head, obviously. And it's always out of the total possible outcomes. Okay, the total possible outcomes. So, how many outcomes are there? Okay, well, you can either get a head or a tail. Okay, so there are two possible outcomes. So, we can say the probability of throwing a head is 1 over 2. You could also write that as a decimal. 0.5 or as a percentage as 50% okay remembering that probability always lies between 0 and 1 somewhere between there those two he's talking about percentage it'd be 0% and 100% okay and obviously a half is in the middle there a quarter three quarters etc sometimes we use words like um, an even chance um, unlikely likely, um, impossible, or definite, okay, or certain. So lots of different words that we can use in order to describe our probability. Okay, so we also come across another thing called complementary events. Okay. Now let's say, for example, we want to find the probability. Say I roll a coin, so a die. Remember, a die means one dice. Dice is plural, too. So I roll a dice, or a die, a normal die. Okay, I want to find the probability that I roll a six. Okay, well, the probability I roll a six is obviously, if we go back to the last part, there is one six on the dice and there are six possibilities so my probability is one over six now they might write something else they might write this p with a six and a little squiggle on the top of it now i wonder if you remember what the squiggle means that little squiggle means complementary to six so what does complementary mean you might remember complementary angles okay angles that are up to give something all right so complementary means basically the opposite what's left over okay um, what makes up to one one hole okay so for example if I'm saying what's the probability of, of rolling a six the complementary event of rolling a six would be five out of six okay because it's what's left over okay it's the probability of not rolling a six that's basically what the complementary com, what complementary of six means means not rolling a six okay so i've got a one two three four or five so i've got five different possibilities now a couple ways you can do that obviously you know, that's an easy question you know what's left over some people like to do it this they say one take away one six which equals five six as well okay um, that can be another way of doing it so lots of different ways to find a complementary event but a complementary event means the um, basically the probability of it not occurring of it not happening okay of it not happening make sure you're writing some notes on this stuff okay um, just a couple other things I want to go through. Obviously, um, this is very, very uh, brief stuff that we're doing at the moment. Um, a couple other things that you might see. Um, sample space. 
okay this means you need to write you must write out all the possible outcomes okay so what's an outcome? An outcome is what can occur as we've already spoken about. So for example, if I said find sample space of uh, rolling a six, something like that, okay, or rolling a dice, okay, you got one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. Let's say I roll um, a die and a coin. What's a sample space? I can get a one and a head, a one and a tail, a two and a head, a two and a tail, three and a head, a three and a tail, a four and a head, a four and a tail, a five and a head, a five and a tail, a six and a head, and a six and a tail. Okay, so that's my sample space. It's all the possible outcomes that I've written out. If I then said what's the probability of rolling um, a two and a tail, well then obviously a two and a tail is one out of how many outcomes? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 12. 1 12th. What's the probability of throwing a 3? Well, I've got two possibilities there. So I've got 2 out of 12, which is 1 6. What's the probability of throwing um, an even and a tail? Okay, well, let's have a look for even and tail. I'll do some green. An even and a tail. Well, I've got a two tail, I've got a four tail, and I've got a six tail. So it's three out of 12, which is one in four chances. Okay, so a couple of different things there um, that we've looked at. Just something else that I want to note also, just um, sort of help out. A lot of questions deal with cards. Okay, so just a couple of things with cards. There are 52 cards in a normal deck. Okay, this excludes jokers, so no jokers. We have four suits, okay, so we have spades, we have clubs, we have hearts, we have diamonds, okay, we have 13 cards in each suit. We have, well, basically, because spades and clubs are both black, hearts and diamonds are both red, so that means there are 26 black cards and there are 26 red cards. Okay. Now, um, often the more challenging one is in order to do about the picture cards okay so picture cards um, we say are a jack queen and kings so I'll put their picture cards jack queen and king often they'll tell you if, it, if they want to include the ace but jack queen and king are our picture cards so that means there are three times four which are twelve picture cards okay 12 picture cards um, and that's pretty much about it um, in terms of all, all our stuff there um, I guess there are four because there are four suits there's four of each number okay so that's just um, again a brief overview because I love dealing with cards all right um, and the very last thing we're going to look at Today, I know this is uh, quite uh, a lot, but is our experimental probability and relative frequency. Okay, so experimental probability. Well, our normal probability or theoretical probability is what should happen. So, you know, when we you know, roll a die, what's the probability of rolling a two? Well, it's one in six chances. Okay. But experimental probability is what actually does happen. Okay. When calculating uh, experimental probability, we call it the relative frequency because it's you know, relative to what actually happens. And we calculate it by the frequency of the event. So how many times has it happened? Divide it by the total frequency
Okay, so let's say for example, I roll a die um, 10 times. Okay, so I've got um, whoops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. Often we like to use tables to help us um, record. Remember our tally tables? Okay, so I roll a die 10 times. Let's say we've got a 1, 2, 2s, 2, 3s, a 4, 2, 5s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So that's my frequency. Okay, that's that's the number. So if I was to say what's the probability of rolling or relative frequency of, of rolling a two, well I've got rolled two twice, two out of ten, which is one in five chances. What's the relative frequency of the probability or experimental probability of rolling a one? Well it's one in ten chances. Okay. Um what's the probability of rolling an even number? Well, we've got two 3, 4, 5, 5 in 10, which is 1 half, which is what it is normally, okay? So that is what our experimental probability would be. Now, they can also ask you um, to, let's say, for example, estimate if I roll the dice another 100 times, how many um, twos would I roll? Well, say, so, well, relative frequency is 1 fifth. So... You know, for every roll, I've got one fifth chance of getting a two. So if I'm rolling it a hundred times, we simply times by a hundred. So we get our relative frequency, okay, or our um, experimental probability, the probability that, that it's actually happened, we times by the amount, which would give us twenty times. So I would expect to get twenty lots of twos, okay. Now you can have that question on normal probability as well as experimental probability, or theoretical should I say, in, um, and it happens the same way, okay? Um, but again, relative frequency or experimental probability is what has actually happened as opposed to our theoretical of what should happen, okay? Um, the next, uh, next lesson we're going to go on to looking at some probability trees, so please make sure you, uh, you watch that one.